Yesterday, I caught this soft shell crab off my pier, and today, I'm gonna make it my lunch. To get a soft shell ready to eat, there's gonna be four different cuts you're gonna have to do. The first is you're gonna cut off the front or the face of the crab. That's the very first thing I do every single time. Then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna cut off the apron. You can either peel it back and rip it off or peel it back and then cut it with your scissors. I prefer to cut it because it's a lot cleaner when you do it that way. Next is lifting up the shell and cleaning out the gills. So I lifted up that one side there and you're gonna use your scissor to cut off the gills. You're gonna wanna make sure you do it on both sides. Remove those gills from both sides. Some people say they can make you feel a little bit sick if you eat them. Other people say they have no impact whatsoever. And those are the four cuts you're gonna need to have this crab ready to cook. Now, all the stuff that I cut off, I'm actually gonna use later on for fishing bait too. So don't throw that away, especially if you fish for perch. Go ahead and put it on a paper towel to let it dry and then lightly coat it in your favorite flour mix. I use J-O and gluten-free flour because I'm gluten-free. Then you're gonna put it in a pan. I like it pretty hot. And the way I test is I put a little bit of that flour in there. If it bubbles up like that, you know, you're good to go. And then put the soft shell in. It's gonna be about three minutes per side that's kind of my sweet spot right there so after three minutes flip it once do it again leave it there for three minutes and then take it out and have a bite now you can see all that delicious meat in there but i gotta say i like the body part of the soft shell crab but my favorite are the legs and especially the claw 